So right, let's try to assign some port for this model. I do have a differential pair and differential via as well. I don't know if it's gonna work as expected, but let's try and see if it really truly works. So the first thing we, we want to do is that I do have two ports here as you can see, and I want to assign them as a PEC, which is perfect electric conductor. And I'll, I'll just right click on it and I went to the assign site, sorry, assign boundaries. Well, not really. I want to assign a material for now. And I want to assign it as a PEC, which is already here as given. And it's already saying that something we defined as a PEC before, whatever. But I'm just trying to make, um, trying to redo it the same process again, just to showcase that. That's how the, pro that's how the process looks like. I believe I also have done for that part as well. So it seems like both of the port that I meant to create are already defined as a PEC. But we're not done yet. We have to do one more step. And that's pretty much is going to the object and sort of selection and you, you have to select the face. So if you select the face and, and now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the f this one and I wanna, I wanna create a port out of it. So there's two things. So first of all, I want to try see if it can detect things that I really want, and I will define what things I mean here. So I want to go with the mo terminal wave port, as you can see here. So once I do it, it's not telling me what is the reference I want, like I would like to use. And that's pretty much a tricky thing because I'll have to make sure that it is not taking the reference as the entire ground. So I want to make sure that whatever GND1 is meaning is actually the thing that I want. Looks like this is not something that I would want. Maybe I want something different, but um, what I can do is I can create face uh, from the object. Well, I guess I don't have to do that. I guess I can just directly assign as a ground because I have seen people... Um, are a lot of in in other cases that you have to create a face um, out of an object, but I guess in this case I can just assign GND2 as the reference. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it again. Sorry, I'll uh, go to the assign boundary and sorry assign excitation port and terminal wave port. I just want to use the ground as a reference, so hopefully it should work. So now I o I click OK. If I go back to the excitation part where it is here, uh, I do have something defined before. I just want to get rid of them. All right. So let's change this name to like port one because this is where we're creating the port one. Now if I go down here, I want to check what kind of things is basically saying. So it does see the trace P2, which is the phase of this differential pair. Very good. Very good. It also sees this thing as well. It also sees a wave, maybe the whole thing as well. I don't think we do really care about that part. So what I'm going to do is I, I want to get rid of this part because uh, this is basically the whole circle or circular port of it. I don't think it really gives me any any benefit. So I'm just going to delete that part. And I want to reach, I want to change the name as as far as my preference. So I want to do like a trace one P, maybe trace, just trace P. And I want to give the second one as a trace n. Maybe this is probably a nice name. Trace n. Because they are differential. All right. And I just assign as a 50 ohms, as you can see here. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this part as well. So now I have to go back and I want to select the face of it. And now I'm going to assign excitation and port. Definitely terminal wave port and sign as a ground as my reference. So once I do it, I can see it can able to detect the the phase of the traces successfully and also the circular shape, which I don't need for this case. So now I'm just gonna give the same similar name as well. I wanna give this one as trace one trace one n so that at least I know what I'm doing. Just to have a good reference too. So trace one and here, the trace n is here. Trace p is there, as you can see, and the trace p 
one is also be here as well. So I'm gonna just change the name to trace one p, and that should be my all port definition I don't use so far. So now I have all of the port, but you might think that I'm done, but I am not done yet. I have to do some other things. What things is basically right click on my excitation and selecting differential pair, which is very very cool. Now I can do new pair, trace n and trace p. Nice reference hundred ohms. That's what I want. Another one. Gee, it's successfully able to detect two differential part or terminals, and that's pretty great. That's pretty great. So I just said okay because it's all, go all good. I want to also edit the sources as well so that I can able to ho hold uh, how much power I want to send. So I want to change this one to as a one word, um, so one bolt, but I also want to have a 180 degree shape because there's a differential signal. So now I do have everything as, as um, I think everything looks pretty good. Now that's how you basically create the wave port and then you do other validation and once you're done with all of the thing you may just run the simulation this might work might not work but I hope that works but if it doesn't work then we'll just fix the problem in the next video but thanks for watching it might run into problem maybe not let's see but that's how you create a wave port